Hey, what's up, everybody? Spelling mistake. If you are like me, you've been playing this game for quite a while now, and you remember the good old days, whenever Darkmoor first opened up, and you had to make the grind all the way up through Darkmoor Keep to face Malastare himself. And you also remember that time that he had a ton, ton of health. Now, we interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Okay, it appears that we are not going to have the video that we thought we were going to have. Our program has been interrupted because I want to talk to you and bring you some more information about the video that I had the other day about new way to get banned and the mass bannings that are going on. I have been investigating in this for the past couple of days now, talking to all the sources I can talk to about various things and about various reasons why this might have happened. And I've heard, I've heard a lot of replies and a lot of rumors, some of them pretty far-fetched, I do have to say, and some of them making a little bit of sense. I'm going to cover a few things of the ones, the more popular ones that have been said, so that you guys can be calmed a little bit, because there's a lot of rumors going on around out there right now about the bannings and why they took place, and some of them do sound legit, but they're really not, and I don't want you to be worried or scared or, you know, think you may be targeted just because something that you've heard sounds legit. All right, first things first. This is an important one because, well, I've heard this one the most, I think, of all of them. Guys, you are not, that's repeat, not going to get banned, at least at this point. Now, mind you, that's at least at this point so far. You are not going to get banned if you were one of those people who PvP boosted. Okay, King's Isle has already said they don't intend to ban people. They're just going to go through and remove whatever rank it was that they have found that you got through illegal boosting. Uh, well, it's not even that it's illegal boosting. It's that they don't approve of the boosting. The odd thing about it is it's not against the terms of service. But then again, whenever they wrote the terms of service... They didn't take into account millions and millions of millions of very clever people who could think this kind of thing up. You know, there, there's, it's, it's like being a YouTuber with a large crowd. There's one of me and 13,000 of you. It works kind of the same way with King's Isle. They have a small staff compared to the number of customers that they have using their game. And there's no way that they could think up everything that you millions of folks think up. It just it doesn't work that way. You know, they say, you know, put your heads together and two heads are better than one. Well, 13 million heads are better than the 20 or 30 or however many staff members it is they have. So, they're not going to ban you for PvP boosting, even though it's not against terms of service and they don't approve of it. They're not going to ban you for it. They're just going to remove rank that they feel that you have gotten through boosting because it's not fair. It's pretty much an exploit and not fair to the regular players who don't do it. And we need, I, I honestly am behind this one because I feel that we need to have some continuity in PvP. If you're skilled, you deserve your rank. If you're sly at boosting, well, maybe not as much. Okay, so that's not the reason the mass bannings took place. There was another rumor that. Dakota Earthhorn, that's Lou, got banned for any number of things. I've heard that he got banned for any number of things from someone sponsoring his channel for unapproved activities to <laughs> to some of the, I don't even want to say what some of them are because, well, Lou, if you're listening to this video, brother, you got accused of a lot of stuff, man, a lot of stuff. You would think you were Robin Hood just without the hood. <laughs> anyway... The bannings have nothing to do with the stuff that went on with Dakota and associated parties and any kind of quote-unquote illicit activity. They don't have anything to do with that either. No, and and it, mind you, that doesn't mean, hey, wow, they're not on me, Bob. I can still keep selling this gold for real money. It doesn't mean that. Okay, because if they catch you at that, they will ban you for that. Even though... The bannings currently aren't about that. If they do catch you for that, you will. So don't do it. Don't do things that you know are against the terms of service. 
And if it looks like a gray, shady area, and you really like your account, don't do it anyway. Don't do it. It's as simple as that. If you, if you stay within the rules that you think are right, you'll probably turn out okay. Now, I finally heard back from Tom uh, regarding this banning issue. I, I wrote to him a couple of days ago, but he was on vacation. So, you know, rightfully so, it took him a couple of days, you know, to get through all of his mail and, and do his answering and whatnot. And I thought, eh, that's cool. At least he did answer me. And I asked if there had been a mass banning event or issue right about the time that Dakota got his ban. Now, again, one more time, Dakota's ban had nothing to do with what's going on here. But there was indeed an event where a lot of bannings took place. This is essentially what happened. They went through and looked at other sites and, uh, oh, let's see. What'd they say? How'd they, how'd they say that? They went through and looked at account sharing sites or account sharing password sites. And if they found other sites that had your wizard, user, wizard 101 username and password on it that might have been not necessarily corruptible, but vulnerable, then they banned your wizard account for safety's sake. Because they, they've, they've got a thing about you know not sharing passwords. I'll, I'll link the uh, pertinent information in the description there for this. But anyhow, they've got a thing about making sure that you don't use your wizard one username and password on other sites that may be more vulnerable than wizard, simply because it's a security risk for not only that account, but for your wizard account. So a lot of people, this, this especially applied to a lot of people who are inactive or who had an account like that. You know, maybe they started playing Minecraft or maybe they started playing, oh, I don't know. Maybe they started playing a Facebook game or something like that. Anyhow, they went back and they looked at other sites for shared passwords that matched Wizard101 username and passwords and they banned those wizards' accounts for not only Wizard 101 safety, but for the safety of the players. That's just one less way that hackers and scammers can get a hold of your wizard account and or get a hold of your personal information. All right. The good news about this is it's only a temporary ban. It's not a permanent ban. If you write them and you give them this information and you have used your Wizard 101 username and password on other sites or other situations, they will more than likely re-up re, uh, re you or recontinue your Wizard 101 account once you change that username and password or once you contact them and some kind of an arrangement is made to do that. So if you have been banned for inactivity, and this is, in part, the reason for this, along with the password sharing thing, this actually, this banning for inactivity or this mass banning thing actually was a true event. But you can get your Wizard101 account back if you were banned based on that. Now, you can talk to them about any kind of ban that you have, and they may or may not. Uh, reinstate your account. But they're more likely to do it for things like this where they're just doing it for safety's sake and you really didn't do anything um, on the surface of it, you didn't really do anything wrong. Okay, you just use the account name and password for other things. That's not really something wrong, but again, they don't want vulnerability in this game at all with all the kids that are involved in it. All right, guys, so I hope that this clears up the situation for you and that if you have one of these accounts that are banned under these conditions, you can very easily go ahead and talk to King's Isle and get your account reinstated. I hope this helped you out. Guys, it's been a rough couple of days. I tell you what, I have talked to everybody and their cousin about information regarding this mass ban thing. So hopefully... A bunch of you who are interested in having your accounts still or having your accounts back 
we'll be able to go ahead and get this done, and I hope it helped you out. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, a good heart smash, as well as subscribe, share, and yell my name to everybody you know, because I would love to see more of you around here. Until next time, this is Kevin Mr. reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace. Hey, what's up, Gamer Skull Mystic? Are you one of those players who have been playing this game since the beginning of time? Back whenever Mushu was the first world, back whenever Dragonspire was the first world, 2008, and you remember those days? And you have grinded and grinded and grinded until, until you're ground down, pretty much.